It was even in the paper the next day that terrorists had hit. But in the last paragraph of a long half-page story, it said, by the way, it was just a drill. So it hits people with suspended disbelief that al Qaeda has hit them and hit them hard. So that then, a few years later, they're on a plane and see a guy with a bagel. And, oh, the bagel's going to get me. I mean, they see that bagel and suddenly it's wearing a turban. Suddenly it's got a big black beard. Sesame seeds are seen as, as legions of al-Qaeda forces. Uh, meanwhile, all sorts of tyranny, death, mass murder, bad drug interactions, flesh-eating bacteria from overuse of antibiotics, a massive plague all over the country, deaths just all over the place, rocket attacks, truck bombs, machine gunning deaths, police and media being killed on the U.S. border, 28,000 deaths and growing. Dogs and cats raining, you know, out of the sky, basically. And that's no issue, no problem, nothing. Out of sight, out of mind. But a bagel can now, like a mirage, just morph into some type of deadly uh, gorgon. A f Florida professor was arrested and removed from a plane Monday. Good. Notice he was arrested. Not just... <laughs> Well, you never can be too safe about the uh, terrorist. And then you go, well, in every case we study, the government's protecting them and funding them and uh, their commanders, uh, Muslim extremists, are always secretly hanging out at the Pentagon and military bases. Uh, here it's all confirmed. Oh, let's just not look at that. Isn't it much more fun to be scared of the bagel? So, again, just, just be glad a Florida professor was arrested and removed from a plane Monday after his fellow passengers... And see, government like attack dogs have been trained. The most ridiculous phone call, the most ridiculous warning. They hyperventilate over all of that and get all upset. But when I called the FBI Threat Fusion Center that uh, Janet Napolitano is uh, uh, you know, handing out nationwide at universities and high schools and government buildings and private corporations, if you see anything suspicious or have any tips about terrorism, call. And so I call and say, okay, here's Fox News. Uh, number three in Al-Qaeda, number one overall operationally. Amar al alaki is, in every case, admittedly hanging out secretly at the Pentagon and then commanding the Fort Hood attack, the underwear bomber, the shoe bomber, uh, and I'd like to uh, send you this. And the guy's just like, mm-hmm, click, and hangs up. So you give them a real terror threat. I mean, you tell them right where the terrorists are and exactly what's going on and admitted fact, and they just don't want to hear it. But if you say a bagel's scary, people are going to jail. Just like every week I see articles, sometimes even more, where neighbors are walking through, generally through some suburb, middle class area. It's almost always an old man who thinks they're still in America, who's in their tanker and garage clean cleaning a rifle. Neighbor sees it. They call the SWAT team. The old man's lucky if he makes it out alive. Sometimes they run up and just shoot him right there on the spot. Or they're holding a garden hose watering. Now the end of it looks like a gun barrel. Police come and kill him, San Francisco. I mean, it's always the same M.O., or a carpet cleaner's in your house or the cable guy and sees a gun case and calls the police and says your shotgun's a machine gun and they show up. And a lot of times they go ahead and confiscate the guns. Well, you got eight guns and we found 2,000 rounds of ammo and the local police spokesman will go out and have a press conference and say, we have arrested Mr. Johnson, he had an arsenal. And then people say, uh, is there a law against those? The, the press never asks that. They just sit there going, oh, oh my gosh. And you'll hear the radio announcers and the local TV news people, they always have like that happy sounding announcer going, Mr. Johnson was taken into custody by police officers. I heard him last night on the radio announcing, oh, they're trying to pass a law in Texas that if you've ever had a DWI, it'll be marked on your license. Isn't that good? And they had so much enjoyment talking about the police state marking of everything. You know the history of that. It's very dangerous. Next, what will it be? Yellow stars uh, for anybody ever got pulled over and had one beer? Oh, yeah, they're lowering it down to any alcohol all, all over the country through the federal uh, lobbying. Uh, but again, they alerted the crew about the bagel. Crew members thought they had a suspicious package, uh, and the suspicious package turned out to be keys, a bagel, and cream cheese, and a hat. <laughs> I've got the FBI uh, warning uh, flyers. It says blue jeans, is polite, is a nice guy, has a cell phone. I have another training manual says a woman with a baby carriage. We're going to break it all down when we come back. But uh, again, land of the cowards, home of the slaves, if we let the globalists turn us into that. Now, I'm going to get into the incredible economic news after this break. And believe me, it is super important.
One of the most potent ways to lower blood pressure is to inhibit the angiotensin converting enzyme in the body, also called ACE. In nature, there are a group of proteins found in unheated way that inhibit the ACE enzyme. The most potent ACE inhibitor to date is lactokinin. While lactokinin does not have the inhibitory potency of synthetic drugs commonly used in the treatment of hypertension, this naturally occurring whey peptide may be able to help keep blood pressure normal. The most powerful whey protein supplement on the market is One World Whey. One World Whey is the first ever unheated whey protein powder from grass-fed cows. One World Whey is easily digested and tastes delicious. Use One World Whey to support your exercise or weight loss goals, your optimal blood pressure, energy, endurance, and mood. To order, call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Or visit OneWorldWay.com. That's One World W-H-E-Y dot com. Good day. Jim Newcomer from Midas Resources. January 5th, 2011. Gold opened this morning at $1,380. A one-ounce gold coin can be purchased for $1,415.76. $707.88 for a half ounce or $353.94 for a quarter ounce. That's $1,415.76. $707.88 or $353.94. Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, warning of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. CBO is drawing a parallel between U.S. economy and the Greek economic meltdown. Debt to GDP climbing to unfamiliar territory and deficits rising to unsupportable levels. Hi, Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risks of deficit spending, aging population, and rising interest rates spells economic disaster. Call today at 800-686-2237. I'll send it free. Again, call 800-686-2237. Ask for the CBO document. Call 800-686-2237. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As they're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. I have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. New Year, new way to smoke, and it's totally wicked. Introducing Totally Wicked E-Liquid Electronic Cigarettes, the highest quality e-cigarettes in the world. With Totally Wicked E-Liquid Cigarettes, there's no flame, no secondhand smoke, no carbon monoxide, no tar, no unsightly brown teeth or fingers, and no lingering smell. Totally Wicked E-Liquid Cigarettes have a battery charge that lasts up to eight hours. Plus, with a Totally Wicked Tornado model, the average pack-a-day smoker is likely to save over $1,000 a year. The Totally Wicked Tornado provides a storm of vapor. See it at totallywicked-eliquid.com. That's totallywicked-eliquid.com. Or call 888-761-9425. Get a 15% discount with promo code GCN Live. Go to totallywicked-eliquid.com. Or call 888-761-9425. That's 888-761-9425. Or online at totallywicked-eliquid.com. Totally Wicked E-Liquid Cigarettes, the next generation of alternative smoking. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. So in the name of keeping us safe from Arab extremists, our borders are still wide open. It's been confirmed in major news reports. I'm going to get Glenn Spencer back on to cover this from American Patrol in the next few weeks. That the 2,000 National Guard who are on the border uh, are not allowed to talk to anybody, interdict anyone. They must sit in one spot uh, driving white trucks uh, where everyone can see them, and it's a big joke with the smugglers. And there's more news on that today uh, where even high school kids can just walk back and forth on both sides of the border uh, of the uh, fence they were going to build. They only built a few miles of it with giant holes in it. Uh, and Reuters and Fox did report two years ago that illegal aliens were hired to build the fence. So this is a complete joke. It's also been reported that illegal aliens 
uh, when they are arrested in the few staged raids they have every year of meatpacking plants and other things, that, that ICE then takes them and gives them green cards on the spot and gives them jobs in the federal government. It's total stunts. They arrest them, they apologize, and they give them a, a job. I mean, it's just all completely staged. Okay, that's wide open, but then they've got to absolutely stick their hands down your pants. They've got to arrest you for the bagel. They've got to do all. They've got to spend tens of billions of dollars putting in threat fusion centers and federalizing all the police and $2 billion in New York and more than $2 billion in Boston and a billion plus in Houston and $800 plus million in Dallas in the last few years, putting in face scanning, license plate reading cameras. And all these political insiders from Homeland Security from the last administration and the current administration are getting the money from it and they're training police that domestic groups, militias, conservatives are going to kill police any minute and attack all the police stations. Now, the public's told that all of this police state's been set up for the scary men uh, running around, uh, you know, from Team America, imaginary Muppets. This, this, this vapor uh, that they've got everybody running from. And then meanwhile, though, when you really get behind the closed doors and all the manuals and documents that we've published at Infinitum that have been linked to us, it's a total obsession with gun owners, returning veterans, conservatives, libertarians, and then the ACLU and anti-war groups and anti-abortion groups and pro-abortion groups. Basically, if you are politically involved, they're scared to death of you. How dare an American be politically involved? If you're one of the top Republicans in Pennsylvania on the legislature and you're organizing tea parties calling for cut taxes... You are surveilled, you are wiretapped, you are watched. And if they can't get the state police to do it, who by the way refused, and let me give you the inside scoop, it was the Pennsylvania State Police that leaked that to the legislature. Um, can tell you that, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, they couldn't get the state police to spy on the uh, legislature. I mean, the state police may be brainwashed in Pennsylvania, but they understood that was illegal. That's the elected government, that is the government. By, you know, that little uh, twit, uh, governor uh, in there trying to get the state police to spy on his political rivals didn't cut it. So the governor and the feds brought in the Israelis to do it all over the Pennsylvania news. That's what this whole police state grid's for. Get it through your heads. Those of you out there that have a, a, a relished obsession, a psychological, mentally ill, twit fetish, I don't know what to call it, who love to watch all the movies with the fictitious bad men and all the simulated terror attacks. It's not real, okay? It's not real. It's not real. And even if it was real, don't take my liberties. I'll take the danger. Just like 300 plus thousand people die a year in cars. I still put my kids in the car every day and drive them all over town. And I try to drive safe and they're my little sweetie pies, but I'll take the risk of the liberty of travel. And that's how our society's set up. Do terrorists kill 300,000 people a year? All right, I'm done ranting. I apologize, I'm out of control today. It's just I'm sick of it. And if you have any doubts about who's behind the terror, or your friends and family have any doubts, get the film Terror Storm, a history of government-sponsored terror on DVD at InfoWars.com, and your purchase also supports our operation, and you are authorized. In fact, I beg of thee, to use a Lindsay Williams line, I beg of thee to get the DVD and to make copies of it and to put it on access television or... Call your local access, go find the libertarian producers that are already there and get them to air it. Just get it done. Americans can always get it done before. Let's get it done this time. Let's wake up out of our malaise, wake up out of our trance and get angry. Terror storm. It's just filled with all these mainline government admissions. Admissions where our government admits they stage terror attacks in history and other governments doing it. In game, Obama deception. Invisible Empire, all incredible films, massively discounted at InfoWars.com and the online video bookstore shopping cart. We got Patriot t-shirts, everything to spread the word. And your support also makes this operation possible. And don't forget, for a few more weeks, we're running that New Year special, five plus months free at PrisonPlanet.tv right now. PrisonPlanet.tv, go check out all the key info today. We'll be back with the economy news, I promise. Straight ahead, stay with us. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.
Hello, this is Alex.